Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to use an auto clicker for Rec Room. And also, just to mention, this only works on Steam VR, so if you're using Quest Standalone PlayStation VR, it's not going to work. So based on my other video that I did of using the auto clicker and going trophy lobbies, everybody wanted to know how to be able to do it for themselves. So this video, I'll show you how. Okay, so now let me show you what you're going to have to do. Okay, so first, open up your Steam VR home, then go to settings. Click controllers, then manage controller bindings, and from here, turn it to custom. Then when you're here, hit choose another binding, and then let load. And then you should find a binding called funny trigger spam for index. It's not going to be up here at the top, so you're going to have to go down, like, search for other ones. And I'm pretty sure there are some other bindings, but this is the one that I use, so this one's guaranteed to work. So, you wouldn't need to edit the binding or anything, it's already set up for you. So, once you go into Rec Room, then you're gonna barely press your trigger, and then it's just gonna do that. Also, make sure to be aware of this, sometimes Steam VR can break, and that's what happened in my other video, and I wasn't able to change it back to my regular bindings. So yeah, you're gonna have to be careful with that, and if it does end up happening to you, all you have to do is just restart Steam VR, and then bam, you're good. Okay, so now you know how to turn on the auto clicker, so now I'm gonna show you how to use the bow like I did in that video. It's not really just using the auto clicker on the bow because it's just going to end up falling like that. So there's a way that I have to adjust it. So of course, first things first, pick up the bow. It doesn't matter what hand it is, just as long as it's in the hand. So now that you got the bow off, the first thing that you have to do is turn off don't lock tools in hand if you have it on. So that's that if you drop your controller or if you let go of it, it's not going to drop the bow. So now you can adjust it and this is what we want. Alright, so first hold the bow out, then turn it upside down like this. Once it's like that, try to rotate it down and pull it towards you now that your hand is on the op opposite side of the bow. Now lock it into place and then just use the bow. And now you can just shoot it like a minigun. Just to get this out of the way, I don't recommend going into public lobbies and doing this because people might think you're cheating and they could report you and you could get banned. So yeah, I made a really big risk when I filmed that one video. So yeah, that's about it. So if this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and yeah. Thank you for watching.